Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Aray Karutunyan calls on Armenians across the globe. Guyana Parliament Speaker Mazur Nadi replies to the letter of the National Assembly Speaker Leonardo Basmadian. Erdogan sends jihadists against Artsakh's Swedish Express and newspaper. In the morning, Azerbaijan resumed active artillery fire towards Artsakh. Bahan Badasyan is still in the hospital. We must win. The volunteers left for the front. Today is the 100th anniversary of the world famous Armenian director Henry Verno. The large-scale war against the Republic of Artsakh and the Armenian people by Azerbaijan, Turkey and the international terrorists continues. The Defense Army continues to resist and fight strongly against the enemy, causing huge losses in manpower and equipment. Artsakh's president Arey Karutunyan said in a call to compatriots in Armenia and diaspora. Dear compatriots, we had even more difficult times in 1992-1994 when hostilities were taking place on the outskirts of Gansasar, Askeran, Martuni, Hadrut, etc. We managed to win because we believed in victory. Today we continue to believe. We believe that we will win. We need to unite. We must to unite. The most importantly participate in the military actions, he said. I expect the active participation of my brothers, Karabakh people living in diaspora, our brothers living in Armenia. Today is a crucial moment of keeping or losing the motherland, of living with the dignity and refusing from the right to live without dignity. We must continue to live with honor. That is why I call on not only for material, which is very important, and I am thankful to all, but also physical participation. We need it. Thank you. We will win, Aray Karutunyan concluded. Mazur Nadir, a speaker of the South American Guyana Parliament, replied to the letter of the Republic of Western Armenia National Assembly Speaker Leonardo Basmadian. The letter particularly said, Your Excellency, thank you for your letter, outlining your Parliament's position on the unilateral attacks carried out by the Republic of Azerbaijan on September 27, 2020, against the Armenian civilian population of the Autonomous Republic of Artsakh. I note your situation and will bring this to the attention of our Parliament parliament and government. All unlawful acts of aggression or attacks on any nation, its people and property by another nation are condemned. An article has been published on the discussion page of Sweden's famous Express and magazine which reads as follows. While the UN, the European Union and the European superpowers are trying to resolve the current conflict between the Republic of Armenia and Azerbaijan through diplomacy, Turkish dictator Recep Tayyip Erdogan is making live speeches provoking war, sending jihadists against Artsakh. The article points out that Erdogan's language used against Christian Armenians has caused concern among the Armenian people who lost more than 1.5 million lives as a result of the genocide against Armenians. Journalist writer Kurdo Baxi, whose signature is also in the article, wrote, Erdogan pays the Syrian National Army jihadist as salary for destroying Kurds, Armenians and Assyrians fighting against ISIS. In Libya, Erdogan is fighting with Islamist forces against secular forces. Erdogan is sending weapons to Libya in ghost ships in violation of international agreements. Meanwhile, NATO is calling on the international community to stop Erdogan, the leader of the Council of Europe and a member of the United Nations. At the moment, hot battles are going on in the same directions. The representative of the Ministry of Defense, Arthur Hovainsian, wrote about this on his Facebook page. Relatively stable tension remained in the Artsakh Azerbaijani conflict zone overnight. Susan Stepanian, spokesperson for the Ministry of Defense of Armenia, stated this on her Facebook page. In the morning, the adversary resumed active artillery fire in the northern and southeastern directions, she added. The Artsakh Ministry of Defense informs that the units of the Defense Army continue to control the operative tactical situation and take steps to inflict new losses to the enemy forces. Faham Badasyan, member of Parliament of Western Armenia, Knight of the Battle of Cross Order, leader of the United Armenia Party in Artsakh, is still in the hospital. In a conversation with Factor TV, doctor of the Republican Hospital Ashot Gurgenyan informed, Faham Badasyan's condition is satisfactory. Yesterday he was transferred from the emergency department to the general department. According to the doctor, there is no need for new surgery in the period. It should be noted that a few days ago, Vaham Badesian was wounded on the battlefield during the large-scale war that has been going on throughout Artsakh since September 27. 
Another group of volunteers from Armenia left for Artsakh to defend the homeland. The spirit of the volunteers is unbreakable. They are ready to fight till the end. They are sure that the victory will be ours. Our country is in danger together with Artsakh. We have a duty to defend our country, says Colonel Volodya Avedisyan. His son Avetis Avedisyan also went to the front with a group of freedom fighters. Freedom fighter Gagik Sarokhanyan stressed that we should rely on international community, but the final problem is solved by the Armenian soldier. Today, world famous film director Henry Werner would have turned 100 years old. Henry Werner was born on October 15, 1920, in Tegirdach and died on January 11, 2002, in France. In 1948, Werner made his film The Singer of Armenian Sorrow and Freedom, dedicated to writer Avetis Aharonian. In Armenia, Werner is known for his film Myrik and Parade Street House 588, which tells the story of the family of Hakob Malakian, Werner's father, who moved to Marseille after the genocide against Armenians. During his career, he has shot more than 50 films. He was nominated for Oscar and won Locarno International Film Festival, Edgar Allan Poe Awards, French Legion of Honor, Golden Globe Award, French National Academy of Cinema, and Honorary Caesar Awards. Now let us represent your attention a song by Akung. <laughs> You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.